American heroes who needed help. But an exclusive Five on Your Side investigation found the VA has failed to protect hundreds of its most vulnerable veterans. Investigator Sarah Buttison uncovered serious flaws in a government program funded with your money. And Sarah, you found disabled vets taken advantage of. When a disabled veteran is unable to manage their money, the VA appoints a person to protect them. But we found serious problems with the program that oversees those people. Problems that have left veterans wondering who they can trust. This is an urgent message from... I get phone calls, letters, notes on my door. This is a cough, a debt collector. I have so many collection notices I can't even keep up with. This former Air Force senior airman says her finances are a mess. I would say some of all my bills was not being paid on time. I mean, we're, we're in such financial ruins right now. Good morning, Nicole. How's it going? Who does she point the finger at? Wanted to give you the opportunity to explain a few things. Meet Nicole Welch, the woman who was supposed to protect Lynn's money. Can you tell us what you did with this veteran's money? And who gave Nicole that power? I feel horribly betrayed. An organization Lynn believed in. I trusted the VA. And I guess the VA trusted her. In search of meaning, Lynn joined the Air Force in 1986, but soon suffered debilitating depression. The VA decided she needed what's known as a fiduciary, a person legally responsible for paying her bills and balancing her budget. Hey, um, That's where Nicole comes in. In 2009, the VA appointed the Monroe Falls mom and attorney, who on her Facebook page says she has a special place in her heart for vets. Um, this is day two of my 22 push-up challenge in recognition of the suicide rate of American veterans. But after years of calls Please contact us. and collection notices, Lynn finally contacted the VA last year. What did it find? Really Nicole misused and mismanaged her money. These bills paid late. Her bank account overdrawn. And something else that makes Lynn's blood boil. These records show Welsh transferred $700 of Lynn's money into her own bank account, something she vehemently denies. Did you take her money and put it in your account? No, I did not, Sarah. It's like we were the gold mine. Univester Sanders says he too had problems with Welsh. Was she paying your bills on time? No. What effect has this had on you? Can't you tell now? Huh? You think I like talking to you like this? Well, I can't exactly explain anything. The former Marine suffers from schizophrenia. Medication muddles his memory. You knew something wasn't right. Yes, I knew something wasn't right. His daughter, Makita, just a teenager, powerless to intervene. Um, I don't want to cry, but it makes me kind of emotional because that's my dad. Our investigation found widespread problems with the VA fiduciary program. We found since 2012, the VA has banned more than 750 fiduciaries for misusing disabled veterans' money, including Gary Baxt, a Solon pharmacist sent to prison for cheating taxpayers by double billing the VA. Are you surprised? Well, I mean, the easy answer to that is no. Jessica Berg is the dean at the Case Western Reserve University School of Law. Certainly they could do things differently. She has extensively researched health policy and says the government rarely prioritizes oversight. We don't provide minute-by-minute minute oversight of what somebody is doing, and so it really takes something happening and someone else noticing and complaining and then an investigation. But we also uncovered serious delays in those investigations. This audit by the VA's Inspector General found it fails to act quickly when it comes to allegations of misuse. Don't you owe these veterans an explanation? As I said, no comment, Sarah. The VA tells us it did bar Nicole, and the investigation into her misuse is ongoing. But in the meantime, it hasn't hurt her bottom line. So where is she? Nine to five. Your tax dollars pay her to punish people for their mistakes even put them behind bars. This former fiduciary, whose fishy financial practices got her banned for life from the VA, is an assistant prosecutor. 
here in the city of Stowe. Should you really be a prosecutor here? While she's prosecuting people, she's getting away with doing that to him. It's hard for Makita to understand. Does the VA need to fix this system? Yes. I feel like they need to make it more tight. She definitely knew better. Lynn, too. Her trust in the VA, completely broken. This situation, it, it has made our, our life hell. We wanted answers from the VA, but it turned down our request for an interview. We do know Nicole Welsh managed the finances of between 10 and 20 vets, but the VA refuses to tell us how many complained about misuse. On your side, I'm investigator Sarah Buttison, News Channel 5.